Hello, everybody. Andrea here. So what happens if you have taken the quality assurance exam and you were unsuccessful, so you did not pass? What happens? I know you're probably feeling horrible. I mean, who wouldn't after failing anything? I know I would. But don't be discouraged, you guys. You know why I say that? That's why the CDHO gives you many opportunities to pass the exam because it's not a cakewalk. It's not easy. Unfortunately, a lot of people, I think, get the notion of it's really easy. You don't have to study for it. It's not like the board exam, so you don't have to study for it. The quality assurance exam is difficult because in my opinion, it has nothing to do whether you know your stuff as a dental hygienist. It will ask you things like ethics, like community-based questions, like anesthetic, even though in Ontario we can't, you know, it's just, they ask questions that are difficult. So if you have taken the exam and you were not successful, usually it just means you need some help, right? You need some tutoring, some teaching help. So if you haven't heard about my course yet, I do offer a full, um, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm losing my voice. I should really have some water. I do offer a full prep course for the quality assurance exam. So you would sign up for that. You get full access right away to all the materials. You would go through all of the modules and that will help you pass the exam. Because what I find is a lot of people take the exam, they think it's super easy, so they haven't really studied for it or the opposite. Somebody studies so much and they don't understand how they were unsuccessful. You've probably studied the wrong things. You know, if you just simply opened up your textbook or opened up your notes from school, which you probably don't have still, but some of you guys might, and you're just simply reading random things, that's not going to prepare you for the quality assurance exam. You need a focused study plan, and that's where my course can help you. You study everything from top to bottom, and you will pass. The key is you have to study it do your homework and you will pass. So let me show you guys how to sign up for that. I'm just going to pause this for one moment to share my screen. There guys, sorry. So I am sharing my screen right now. So I will leave the link for you guys on the bottom. So this is my quality assurance study guide prep course. So by taking this, you guys, I have everything you need to successfully pass the exam. Plus I do help you if you get that dreaded phone call by the CDHO to clarify things with your practice profile. So that has nothing to do with the exam per se, but a lot of um, dental hygienists forget that they have to submit their practice profile too so I can help you with that. So let me just click this. So if you guys go to the course um, info page, this is what it looks like, but there's also something to look inside the course. So if you click on this little button, let me just make this bigger. So I do have the sound on for that, sorry. But look at all of this that's on the left-hand side, you guys. There's tons of information. Go through everything one by one. How do I turn the sound off? Sorry, guys. <laughs> so go through everything one by one. You will pass. OK, so the materials are in a PDF um, file. Some are in PowerPoint also. So very, very easy to read. They are fully accessible. You have full access until you pass the exam. OK, so you have full access until you, you pass and I am here to help. So please send me a message if you need any help. I am more than happy to help you. Plus inside the course, there are mock exams and quizzes. So I don't just give you the material to study, but I also give you mock exams afterwards to take the mock exams to see if you actually understand the material. So I do everything for you guys. I know it's so stressful, but let me help you, okay? Um, and as I briefly mentioned before, if you guys need help with your, with your um, practice profiles, I do do um, practice profile um, reviews as well, because that can be a very stressful time. So I do all of that for you. I can leave the link for you guys for that on the bottom as well. Let me know if you need anything, any questions, and I look forward to seeing you guys inside the course and happy new year, by the way.